Professor Ford, um, I really uh, embrace what you say about just um, testimony um, isn't just about kind of uh, your life, but it's also about uh, changing or changing your life, but also about changing thinking and a changing imagination. Um, and, and I think for me, uh, so much of my research is centered around hope. I feel like hope is so much mm -hmm. related to that. But what's, what I'm really interested in is um, just the importance of diversity and experiences of, or expressions of like uh, praise. Because sometimes um, in the black church experience, so much of the praise is kind of centered around overcoming, um, being able to overcome the daily realities of life. And of course, it makes sense that that is um, why, why that is such a generative theme in worship and praise, um, because you know that, that has been a historical um, issue and it's also things that black people face now that are real and in your face that they need a power to overcome. But I'm wondering what other kinds of expressions of worship might um, be really important uh, to help kind of uh, reimagine and uh, think differently about uh, who God is. It, it, it's interesting. I think for me, one of the, the part of the wisdom of the church year is that it gets you through all sorts of different modes of praise, if you like. You know, that Christmas is going to be different from Lent mm -hmm. and different from Holy Week, uh, you know, different from Easter Sunday, different from Pentecost Sunday, and different from the regular, you know, the ordinary time in, in, in the year. In other words, you know, when you're taking in different scriptures, you're taking in different, of course, for, for me, saints days as well, you know, uh, and you're, you're coming at things from different angles. But, um, but I absolutely recognize that other traditions, I mean, mine's Anglican, yes. you know, but, but other traditions, uh, you know, do this differently. And I've been so fed by those, you know, from the more contemplative traditions like, uh, like the Quakers, Quaker silence, you know, over to sent taking part in the Center for Black and White Christian Partnership in Birmingham, where, um, you know, the black black-led churches were, where you know, uh, always gave us hospitality and we joined in their worship and and that. And so, there is this extraordinary fruitfulness of, of, of praise. And once one begins to get into it, it seems to me that, um, you know, it, it, it gives you something for every stage of life, for every mm -hmm. uh, area of life. Uh, and, and also, I think the, um, you know, for me, really the wisdom of how other religious traditions praise, you know, I've learned a lot from Jews, I've learned from Muslims, you know, that in other words, it isn't that I'm convinced of their faith, it mm -hmm. is that, uh, that when you see others who also are oriented to God as they understand God, there are things you can learn. And I think that in our very diverse world, you know, there is learning to happen between religious traditions as well as between within Christianity between our traditions? Well, I, think, I think absolutely, you know, the, the, the richness in the, in the, in the tradition, the, the, the things we have to learn from one another, the, the times that people like me absolutely need to learn how to be silent. Um, ha, ha, the, the times that there are uh, traditions in church that, that need to learn how to lament as well as how to, how to, to be uh, ecstatic in praise. And these things are gifts to us in in, in the church together. The, the, these are this is where, and we find great unity in in sharing these together, um, and trusting one another, and, and 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 learning. I mean, what what a great gift of the spirit to to be able to have other brothers and sisters who can teach me, and who who my community and and myself as a person can only benefit from uh, learning and seeing and. Um, th this is the abundance. This is there are, there's always more. There's there's always other things, new ways. There's always uh, different paths that that are going to be um, enable me to come to terms, uh, to try to come to terms more and more with with God and what God is and, and what God calls me to do. 